everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a What My Toddler Eats For Breakfast video. Again, this one has come requested by a few people because I know it can be so difficult to get your toddler to eat something that is nutritious. Elena actually loves breakfast and that is the meal that I find the easiest to feed her because she'll generally eat quite a lot at breakfast. Obviously she's hungry, having not eaten anything for around probably around 15 hours or something like that. She sleeps for 12 hours. Um, so she does eat a good breakfast. I don't generally have difficulty in feeding her. Generally, if I ask her what she wants for breakfast, she will say one of two things, cornflakes or cake. Oh, actually maybe toast. So maybe three things, cornflakes, cake or toast. The cake thing started with her birthday because she did get birthday cake, not for breakfast, right enough, but um, she loves cake so <laughs> she'll maybe say cake and I'm like uh, no <laughs> but cornflakes and toast are probably her two favourite things for breakfast but I do try and mix it up so in this video I'll show you what she ate over a week, seven days and give you some hints and tips of things that you might feed your own toddler. So without further ado let's jump into what she's eating for breakfast this week. What else are you having? So you've got cornflakes with some whole milk, blue top milk, you've got some dilating black currant juice, You've got some smoothie that mummy made. You've got some smoothie, haven't you? Which is a combination of a banana. Oh, okay. An exotic fruit mix from Tesco, which has um, got papaya, pineapple, melon, and mango in it. It's quite good. And then I was having some granola, which Elena has been eating. So I've just left her to finish that. Um, she's also had a whole bowl you had a whole bowl of berries, didn't you? Did you have blueberries? Can you say blueberries? Blueberry. Yeah, can raspberries? Did you have raspberries? Can you say raspberries? Raspberries. Blueberries? Strawberries? <laughs> yeah, she's obsessed with fruit. She also ate a whole tangerine. So she's had blueberries and raspberries, a tangerine, about half a bowl of cornflakes with milk and some of my granola. She's also got her smoothie I made this morning, so yeah, she's doing pretty well so far for breakfast. Is it yummy? Yeah, you like breakfast, don't you? Yeah. So it's breakfast time again. What are you having for breakfast, Elena? What are you having? What's for breakfast, Elena? What have you got on your plate? Uh, I started. Really? Well, okay, on your plate we have got a roll and she asks, she actually asked for ham this morning and we didn't have any, so she's got tongue and then just flip right. you. Just a minute, just a minute. Wow, wow. <laughs> wow who's that? Pee -pee. Yeah, and then she's got a homemade trail mix, which I just make from some raisins, um, some little bits and pieces of cereal. I'll show you it closer a bit later on. Some dried banana and some dried apple. <laughs> uh, yeah, and she's got, what have you got? Show it. She's got an innocent 100% apple juice, not from, never from concentrate. Um, and she's also got some muesli in a bowl with some yogurt and some milk. And she also added some of her apple juice, which is a bit disgusting, but she seems to like it. Yeah, is it good? Mmm, is it good? Yeah? Just to show you what's in the trail mix, so we have some, some raisins. These are just little yogurt covered breakfast tips. Got some dried banana, this is some dried apple, and these are little like Weetabix puffs with blueberry inside, and these are the whole grain rice whole grain rice crispy ah. stars or something like that, I think they're called. There's a wee star there. Um yeah, so she gets a trail mix, she's got a roll and tongue, pork pork tongue, and um, some muesli with some um milk and yogurt, and then her little innocent juice and that is breakfast and she's doing pretty well. Breakfast seems to be the day, seems to be the meal of the day that she eats most readily. Um, she has her moments, sometimes she won't eat anything but for the most part she likes breakfast. Is that yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Strawberry. Strawberry. Mmm, yum. Mmm. It's a winner. So it's morning time again and Elena is having some breakfast. She's having what you're gonna what you're gonna show what you have? Yeah, careful. Yeah. You've got cornflakes with whole milk and you've got one of your little ribenas, haven't you? 
with no sugar added. <laughs> and that's your breakfast. She absolutely, she absolutely loves cornflakes. So that's a breakfast that she'll actually eat. And breakfast and dinner are the two meals that she eats the best. Lunch she kind of picks at, <laughs> but as long as she eats, as long as she eats two meals a day, I'm Mommy. quite. As long as she eats two meals a day, I'm pretty happy. Is Mommy. Mommy in the video? This is, this is about the only way that she'll take milk as well. Like she used to love milk, obviously, when she was a baby, but she won't drink it now. So, good way to get milk into her. Is that yummy? Nom, 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 nom. Good girl. So it's breakfast time again this Sunday, this sunny Sunday. No, it's, it's raining again in Scotland. And Elena's having some breakfast. She's having some cornflakes and a whole milk again. She almost always says cornflakes when you ask her what she wants for breakfast in the morning. So she loves cornflakes. She's also eating some strawberries. And then she has a little strawberry pity fillou. Um, she absolutely loves these and I don't mind giving her them because they're really quite small. So um, she enjoys them in the morning and she always takes up her cornflakes. And she's also got one of these Ribena cartons again left over from her birthday party. So when they're done, they're done. And we use whole milk and the cornflakes and also we add these vitamin drops. If you're in the UK, you'll probably recognise these. They're NHS Healthy Star vitamin drops. Oh, there we go. Um, children's vitamin drops, vitamins A, C and D. And you're recommended to give your child this um, every morning until they get the age of five. I don't always remember, but I try and keep it on the dining table to try and add it to one meal a day, usually breakfast and she gets five drops um, in her breakfast cereal. So hopefully she'll eat up all her cornflakes and all her vitamins. And that's breakfast today. You having trouble with that? All done. All done, okay. Good morning, it's morning time again. And do you want to show everybody what you're having for breakfast today? Wow, a pity for Lou, a strawberry one. Is it good? Uh, yeah, strawberry. strawberry. Um, that's one of the easiest ways to get all of her healthy start vitamins in. If you're in the UK, you'll recognise these five drops a day till they're in school. And she loves her pretty flus and eats every tiny little bit. So I know that she's going to get all her vitamins. She's also got a roll. She's got a roll with some ham in it, haven't you? A roll in ham with a little bit of butter as well. Papa! And she's got some Papa. no added sugar diluting juice. Yes, and we're going to put pep on. And when she's finished all that, I'll probably give her a tangerine, but not till she's all done. So yummy? Yeah. You want to watch some pepper now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. So you've finished up all of your rolling ham, haven't you? <coughs> and also, she's ate all of her fancy <coughs> filou with her vitamins. So now what are you having? What are you having? Tangerine. Tangerine? Yeah, and she likes to open it herself, don't you? Clever girl. So that is the rest of your breakfast. Breakfast time again. Are you going to show everybody what you've got today? Yeah. Mm, what's that called? Weetabix. Yeah. She's got a bowl with one Weetabix and whole milk. And then I've cut up half a banana on top. She already ate the other half with some raisins and little dried apricots as well. And it's good, isn't it? Yeah. And she's already almost ate a whole little brioche roll. She loves these things. She's got some no added sugar black currant um, diluting juice. I and also afterwards she's got a lunchbox banana loaf, these serene loaves. And um, she's got a little banana bread. She loves these. They're really handy and they're quite nutritious as well. Quite filling. Is that good? Mmm, yummy. So that's breakfast. Mm. Yeah, it's got banana on top. So it's breakfast time again. And do you want to show everybody your pepper yogurt you're, you're having this morning? Wow, right, you eat it up nice. Good girl, put it back down. Good girl. Um, so it's breakfast time again, and Elena has got here um, a little yogurt left her vitamin drops in. So it's one of these Peppa Pig yogurts. Um, because when I was at my local spa, they didn't sell the pity flu, so I got these instead. Daddy, 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 Daddy,
and it's got her NHS vitamin drops in there. So that's my Daddy Kate, Daddy that's my surefire way of making Daddy sure Kate, she gets Daddy, 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 Daddy I'll open Daddy Pig. It's careful on this one. Daddy, Daddy. Yes, I'm going to open this one for you. And then she has got a bowl with some mixed berries. She's got blueberries and strawberries in there. And she's got one of these little um, brioche rolls, little French brioche rolls. And some black currant and um, low added sugar delicious juice in there. And cooling at the moment is her porridge, which I just put the Tesco Easy Oats. Um, porridge sachet in here it's kind of like it's got some full oats and some kind of crushed oats in there to make it microwave faster and then whole milk and then I just added a handful of blueberries in there and microwaved it and when the blueberries get warm they, they burst yes darling it's just coming they burst through the porridge so it tastes really delicious so I'm just waiting for this to cool for her to eat and that's her breakfast Is it good? Mmm, yummy. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have any recommendations for me on what I can be feeding Elena, please leave them in the comments section below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It makes me very happy and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.